I'm Fritzi Huber, and I've chosen one of the pieces in this collection that I really respond to, not necessarily because of the palette, the color, because it was a big question for me. How did they do it? This has this blind embossing, this surface that comes out in a relief. It's Louise Nettleson, and this is Skygate One. Skygate One is made in 1982, and when I first saw it, I thought, because in the 70s, the vacuum table was invented by Harold Paris um, up in the San Francisco Berkeley area, and I thought, oh, this has got to be a vacuum table. And what that is, is it's a, a piece of wood with holes drilled in it, and you pour the pulp into sort of a contained area like a pen, and you turn on a vacuum underneath, and all of the water is sucked out, and the pulp, the paper fiber, comes down onto that and you can have a dimensional work. Then I started looking at some of the details and I thought, that's not possible. Where the heck did she make this thing? At the time she was represented by Pace Gallery in New York and Pace Gallery to this day still makes negative molds and it makes perfect sense because she normally in her sculptural work will stack things up. And so if she stacked these things up and made a negative mold and then hand packed, made a big thick sheet and hand packed it into that mold, lots of details that you see here is what you would get. So it was confirmation that this was actually out of a negative mold. You can see this sort of really scrunched down area here. That happens when you're pressing and you can't see the face of the piece. You can only see what's going on from the back. So um, I have just loved trying to figure out what made this piece happen, how it came to life. Thank you.